Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be talking about the five deadliest spiders in the United States. Do you know that more than 43,000 different species of spiders are found in the world? Of these, only a small number are said to be dangerous and less than 30 have been responsible for human deaths. Why are so few spiders harmful to humans? Much of the reason may result from the size differences between people and spiders. Spider venom is designed to work on smaller animals, but the venom of some species can produce skin lesions in people or produce allergic reactions that result in fatalities. First on our list is the brown recluse. The brown recluse spider is one of the most dangerous spiders in the United States. That little bastard venom destroys the walls of blood vessels near the site of the bite, sometimes causing a large skin ulcer. The wound that is produced may require several months to heal, or it may become infected, which could lead to death of the victim. Death from the brown recluse spider bites are rare. Most brown recluse spiders, which are also called violin spiders, live in the western and southern United States. However, the brown recluse has extended its range into parts of the northern United States, making its home in caves, rodent burrows, and other protective environments. Brown recluse spiders are also set up shop in undisturbed spaces of buildings such as attics, storage areas, and wall or ceiling voids. So watch out because they're small, they're tiny, they hide out, but they certainly pack a punch. Number two on our list is the Western Black Widow. Black widow spiders are arachnids that are known for the female's unique appearance and tendency to eat their mates. Wow, talk about love. I mean, seriously? Anyway, they are considered the most venomous spiders in North America. However, their bite is rarely fatal to humans. Male and female black widows look different. In all cases, the females are the most distinctive with shiny black bodies and a red hourglass shaped marking on the underside of their round abdomen. The hourglass marking can on occasion also be orange yellow. Where do black widows live? I'm glad you asked that question, really. Black widows are found in temperature regions throughout the world, including the United States, Southern Europe and Asia, Australia, Africa, and much of South America. In the United States, they exist primarily in the South and West. They may be found in dark, dry shelters such as barns, garages, basements, outdoor toilets, hollow stumps, rodent holes, trash, brush, dense vegetation, according to the NCSU. Like many spiders, the black widow spider eats other arachnids and insects that get caught in their webs. The female spider hangs upside down from her web chilling as she waits for her prey. The spiders eat flies, mosquitoes, grasshoppers, beetles, and caterpillars. Mmm, yum yum, that sounds really good, according to the National Geographic. After the prey is ensnared in the web, the black widow uses its comb feet to wrap the prey in silk. Wow, the black widow is so romantic. Oh my god, maybe I should get one of my own. That would be great. The next one on our list is the brown widow. Wow, the brown widow, just like the black widow, generally found in tropical areas. The brown widow spider is closely related to the black widow. Wow, I would have never guessed that one. I mean, seriously. And this one is poisonous. According to the LSU Ag Center entomologist, Dr. Dennis Ring. Experts say that the spider ranges in color from gray or tan to dark brown and may reach one inch to one and a half inches long. Like its better known black widow cousin, the brown widow has a yellow to orange hourglass marking on the underside of its abdomen. It also has black and white marks on the top of the abdomen and often has dark bands on its legs. Its venom is more toxic than the black widow's. Ring said, but it doesn't put out as much venom in its bite. Ring said the brown widow spider is most often found in areas that haven't been disturbed such as brush piles, wood piles, and areas where hurricane debris has accumulated. They also can show up in crawl spaces, on the chairs, in garbage, man, that's an ugly bastard, and under flower pots, eaves, and porch railings. These spiders are shy and are less likely than black widows to bite humans, Ring said. Nevertheless, they can bite when they come in contact with a person's skin. He also suggests wearing gloves long sleeve shirts and long pants when working outdoors, especially in areas that don't get a lot of human 
activity. So, with that being said, you need to be extremely careful. Look at the grill on that. Wow, that one's definitely and waiting and preparing to bite someone. So for especially the Floridians, watch out. Because look who's coming for you. Be very careful. And don't make wishes, because they may come true. Yeah. Next on our list is the Red Widow. This is rather uncommon spider. It is a member of the Black Widow family and is highly venomous. According to all literature, this spider is indigenous to South America and Central Florida. They survive outdoors, strongly speculates that this spider is increasing its range. We have also found in the last 10 years an increase in bites from venomous spiders and venomous snakes that are not indigenous to the area. This is due to the buying and selling of venomous species over the internet. Wow, that sucks. As well as importing from other countries. This is a dangerous practice and hopefully soon stop. The venom of all Lactrodectus species ranges from 10 to 25% more potent than a rattlesnake. However, the amount of venom that it delivers is much less. Its venom is neurotoxin which causes sustained muscle spasm rather than local tissue injury. Usually outcomes are very good. However, there are reported deaths in the very young and very old with this bite. The puncture wounds are usually very small, but many symptoms are reported. A few of these are high blood pressure, sweating, vomiting, respiratory, muscle weakness, and possible seizures. So please, be careful. Number five on our list, and finally, is the yellow sack spider. The yellow sack spider, <laughs> you said sack, with the Latin name here, let me try this tongue twister, Chiracactheum inclusum is very common in most of the United States. The yellow sack spider is a cause of many bites in the U.S., and a lot of house spiders are crushed on suspicion of being yellow sack spiders. Its bite corresponds in pain to a bite from a wasp. Are they poisonous? Yes, yellow sack spiders are venomous. Well, really, why don't you find out? And normally, they are poisonous in daily language. Bites from yellow sack spiders are also most misidentified as brown recluse spider bites. The symptoms and the development of the wound are quite the same, but much less severe. In the autumn, when the food is disappearing, the yellow sack spider heads indoors to find food. It is often seen on walls. If disturbed, it drops to the floor. Egg sacs are laid in all corners of all sorts. The egg sacs are white and spun with silk. The female might guard its egg sac, so one has to be very careful removing egg sacs from a yellow sack spider. During the summer, when there's plenty of food, the yellow sack spider prefers to live on trees, shrubs, and in low vegetation close to open expanses, such as field. Occasionally, it is found in cotton crops. So with all that being said, be very careful when you venture out, when you go to parks, at home, or anywhere. Be careful, because you don't want to have an encounter with any one of these most deadliest spiders in all the United States. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and make sure you turn that notification bell for more videos like this one. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage.